Hello and welcome to my video on how to program the cubic formula into your TI-83 or TI-84 calculator. For those of you who are first time visitors to the world of programming, prepare to have some fun. And to those returning to it, welcome back. I spent some time with this formula and have weeded out the tedious details to shorten it, making it easier for you to plug it in as a program on your calculator. But if you do have some ideas that might make it easier for you to use or see while implementing it, please send me a message and I will see if I can help you with this. On to the main thing, the actual formula itself. If it looks a little scary and difficult, you would be correct. As far as formulas go, this is a pretty long and tedious one. However, if we examine it closely, there are a lot of similarities between the equations that will make it easier for us to program the whole thing together. Now, while some of these variables can appear up to 13 different times in a single equation, we see multiple repeats in the formulas. One of these is 2b cubed minus 9abc plus 27a squared d. Another is 4 times in parentheses b squared minus 3ac and parentheses to the third. And there are also two parts out in front dealing with the imaginary number i only separated by a minus and plus inside of the fraction. These will be central to our program as you will see in a few minutes. Alright, and now we're going to the actual programming part of the formula. So, in order to do this, we will have to first make a program in the name of what we want it to be. So we do that by pulling up the program key, third down, right in the center here. Press that, brings up this, go to the new section and create new name it whatever you want. I'm going to name it cube root cube cube root and then when you're done with the name hit enter then first things first we're going to change languages right now we are in the real language which only deals with real numbers and cannot incorporate imaginary numbers we're going to do that by hitting second zero which will bring up a catalog of basically everything the calculator has in it. We're in the A section right now, so we're going to scroll down to when we hit A plus BI right here and hit enter. That'll bring up A plus BI right there in our language. Hit enter, and then you're going to prompt all the coefficients, all of them before the x values and the one by itself by saying prompt, which is under the program key. Remember up this, go to I-O, and the second option is prompt. Select that, and say prompt A, comma, B, comma, C, comma, and D. Then hit enter to bring up a new line. After that, we're going to get into the substitutions that I specified earlier. First one being in parentheses, 2b to the third, which an easier way of doing that than just by going caret to the third is we're going to go to math here underneath alpha, press that, go down to the third option here, which is exponent 3. And then you're going to go minus 9abc plus 27a squared d end parenthesis. We're going to say that goes to with an arrow by using the key right above on. Press that, get an arrow. We're going to say that goes to f. The next substitution will be in parenthesis 4 times in parenthesis b squared minus 3ac end parenthesis to the third again. Math third option here. To the third, end parenthesis, that goes to, we're going to say E. In order to simplify this further so we don't have to do much writing further down is we're going to go square root, second uh, square key here, square root of F squared, F squared minus E, and parenthesis, we're going to say that goes to G. 
Then the next one, next substitutions we're going to do involve the imaginary numbers. We're going to go parenthesis 1 plus the square root of negative 3 and parenthesis and parenthesis. And the square root of the negative 3 is it's just a little bit of math you can show equivalent to i square root of 3. Divide this by in parentheses, 6a, n parentheses. We're going to say that goes to h. Bring up a new line. The next one we're going to do is the exact opposite of this, which is in parentheses, 1 minus the square root of negative 3, n parentheses, n parentheses divided by, in parentheses, 6a, n parentheses, and that one will go to i, let's say. And after we have done that, we can get into the main part of the formula. We're going to do the first one, x1, which will be, in parentheses, negative b, minus the cube root, which can, al again, which can also be found under the math key here. Press this. And right below the third option, you will see a 3 with a square root sign behind it, which is the key root. Select that. And then you will say point 0.5, parenthesis, f plus g, and parenthesis, and parenthesis, minus, again, the cube root of... 0.5 parenthesis f minus g and parenthesis and parenthesis and parenthesis divide this by in parenthesis 3a and parenthesis and we're going to say that goes to z then you hit enter we're going to bring up the second x value this one involves the i that we that we specified in the description of the cubic formula. So, we're going to say negative b divided by in parentheses 3a and parentheses plus h, which is one of our substitutions before. Bring up the cube root, math, fourth option, cube root of 0.5 parentheses f plus g and parenthesis and parenthesis plus i our second option our second substitution from that before and then the cube root again of 0.5 parenthesis f minus g and parenthesis and parenthesis and parenthesis we're going to say that goes to another letter y bring up a new line and the next one is almost exactly the same, just a few things switched around. Negative b divided by, in parentheses, 3a, in parentheses, plus i, this time, cube root of 0.5, parentheses, f plus g, sorry, g, in parentheses, in parentheses, plus h, cube root of 0.5 in parenthesis f minus g in parenthesis in parenthesis in parenthesis we're going to say that one goes to w and then bring up a new line this is where we're going to display the values of our axes go to program right here brings up this go to i dash o again third option will be display disp select that then you will do the the quotation marks alpha plus sign quotation mark there say x 1 equals second math first option equals and the quotations add a comma and we're going to say that value is z so it should look like that bring up a new line we're going to do this with each of the values that we set for the last three. So that would be display x2 equals y and x3 equals 
W. And then to bring make sure that we don't have any faults in our in our normal calculations in the future. We're going to bring it back into the real language. So we're going to do second zero again. Brings up the catalog, and we're going to jump down to the R section by just clicking the multiplication sign, which is R, and that will bring us directly to the R section, so we can go down to real. Select that, and that will put us back in the real language when the program ends. And then we hit enter, and that is our program. Get out of this by doing second mode. Now, if you, one test that we can use to make sure that this is working is by using the equation x to the, x to the third plus 3x squared plus 3x plus 1 equals 0, which is a triple real root at negative 1. So to test this, we go to program, and we go down to cube root to test this. Select that. That will bring up our first prompt, which is a. We're going to say 1, since the coefficient of x to the third is 1. The third, second one will be 3, third one will be 3 also, and the last one will be 1. And then when we hit enter, we get negative 1 for all the values, which is the triple real root. And this will show, this shows that the equation works. And there you have it. Your, your, cubic, for, your cubic program for your TI-84 calculator.